Hey, yeah, uh, Jake Asmore here. So today's video is a masterclass on what not to do when you buy stock from a nursery. I went out today and got a couple of trees uh, and ended up just whittling them away down to nothing. Uh, and that was because I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to do with the trees uh, and just ended up uh, freestyling it and, and making a couple of mistakes. I think the video will still be a relatively instructive video, uh, at least in what not to do. Uh, so, without any further ado, here's the video, uh, and thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. This is the croak here. Beautiful specimen, nice thick trunk here. Better to decide what the front or the back is going to be, or indeed what I'm going to do with it. So we can just leave that there for now. This is the Kofi, uh, beautiful specimen as well. I've yet to decide where the front is on this, but uh, it will definitely be easier than the croc here. So we will get into it. Okay, so this already has sort of an inverted broom look about it. So we could keep that. But it's not much fun. So we need to select what the front is and what the back is. I think <clears throat> I think if we get rid of th this branch then we could probably call this the front or we could get rid of this and call this the front. So <clears throat> big choices to be made here. I mean Hmm. I mean, this isn't contributing that much. We have these two sacrificial branches here, which I'm not going to get rid of, I don't think. So we'll make the cut now. Okay, so that's gone. So we've exposed a little bit of the, of the trunk there, so that's always a plus. Yeah, I think that was the right decision. Okay, cool. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a couple of minutes and I'm really at a loss of what I should be doing here. Nothing's coming to me. When you watch Peter Chan videos or Nigel Saunders videos, uh, they make it look so easy, but uh, apparently it's not. What I have been thinking is, um, if we get rid of this here, it's not, it's not contributing much to the tree either. That was the other potential branch to find the front uh, that we were looking at before so we might get rid of that <clears throat> and see how we go so here's the cut now again apologize for the uh, not so well not the greatest tools uh, well they are they're good tools but they're not um they don't get the cut as clean as what I would hope, but that will come with time. So that's what we're looking at now. Alright, I've turned the video on. Hopefully it's the right orientation. Uh, let's make some cuts. So first we'll go here. We'll leave some branches on here, or some leaves on here. So that's as far as we're taking this one. Then we'll take this one here. So this is all in the name of um, making sure that we're, I guess, future-proofing the tree. So this is the start. I mean, we're committed now, so very good. I'll wire up the next bit of... All right, so here's what we've got now. I wired and cut the other two branches, uh, and then I wired the leader. So we'll leave that for a, a good while. Alright, this is the croak here. I've already taken some stuff off the bottom here. See a little scar there? So I think this is the front. Um, I'm going to clear out the insides of this, just to see all that stuff in there. So make it a bit clearer in there. And then I'll come back and we'll make a assessment. I might also get rid of this branch as well. Alright. 
welcome back um, I got a bit carried away before I realized that we weren't or that I wasn't recording um, I'll just show you what I've done uh, be a bit easier to see on this so I've taken this whole portion out here because it was all tangled up now I just need to decide what I'm going to do with with these here I do like it at the moment I like having that part hollowed out and I'm going to have one section going off this way, one section going off this way, and I'm yet to decide if I'm going to keep this here. Um, it's, there's a big cut that you can see there, so I might just keep this as a twin trunk here. Uh, so I will come back once I've um, either going to make a cut or uh, made a decision on sort of what I'm going to do going forward. Okay, that's all been done. Sorry for the uh, shifting around. I just the light is a bit hard around. It's hard to get the right light on the tree this time of day so that's why I keep moving so this is what it looks like now I'm quite pleased with it I have to cut it short so I'll go ahead and do that now okay now I think I've decided on a the way that I want this to be but it requires getting rid of this branch here which is going to be quite scary so Here's what we look like so far. Um, I'll come back once that's been done. Okay, that's been done. This is what we look like now. Now I'm going to be very silly and remove this branch here. Hopefully we can do this one on, on the camera since I haven't really captured many of the cuts that I've taken today so far. Ooh. So there, that's quite the wound there. I haven't got any cut paste or anything. Or, Horrible wound. I'll clean that up later on. And now I'll wire. Actually, if I just bend this up this way. And then take this out here. Then we can pretty much call that done. So I'll go away and do that. Alright, so this is what I'm coming away with. I'm not very pleased with it. Uh, I guess. I went in without any real plan for the tree and ended up taking off too much. And um, made a couple of huge cuts and didn't really know what I was doing. So I will keep it. Hopefully this tree recovers from the damage I've done to it. And um, we'll regroup, uh, do more research and have a clearer plan going forward in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that wasn't too painful for you to watch. Uh, on editing it and putting this all together it was painful for me i can assure you so hopefully on the next video uh, we get something uh, a little bit better uh, other than that i do hope you have a fine evening or morning and uh you'll hear from me again very soon